Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the shearing bridge and how to calculate the unknown components like CX and RX. So in the previous videos, I have explained Maxwell's bridge and Hayes bridge and their problems also. In the Maxwell's bridge, Hayes bridge, these two are used to measure the unknown inductance. Unknown inductance in series with the leakage resistance. We can say it is a leakage resistance because of inductance. And shearing bridge is a type of capacitance comparison bridge where we can measure the unknown capacitance in comparison with the known capacitance C1. Okay. So here we need to calculate the unknown capacitance. Shearing bridge is used to calculate unknown capacitance can be measured. Unknown capacitance can be measured. Okay. And what is the value of capacitance we can measure? Is it 1 microfarad, 2 microfarad? No, very low capacitance measurements we can do using this shearing bridge. So, shearing bridge is used to measure. We can measure 100 picofarad to 1 microfarad capacitance using this shearing bridge but with a plus or minus 2% accuracy. Okay, so capacitance, a shearing bridge can be used to measure a capacitance value of 100 picofarads to 1 microfarad capacitance with a plus or minus 2% accuracy. And as in the case of Maxwell's bridge and Hayes bridge, we have calculated along with the unknown parameters, one more parameter that is quality factor, quality of the bridge or quality of the inductance unknown inductance here also we can calculate the dissipation factor dissipation factor dissipation factor or also known as peak factor peak factor so because in problems i have observed the question is asked to calculate the peak factor instead of dissipation factor so to avoid that confusion i am saying here only now, dissipation factor or peak factor D is equal to Rx by Rx by Xc. Rx by R simply Xx. The unknown resistance divided by unknown reactance. That gives the dissipation factor or peak factor. So, Rx by, so how to write Xc, Xx 1 by omega c x so simply we can write it as omega r x c x the dissipation factor is equal to omega r x c x and we can also say the dissipation factor is the reciprocal of quality of the capacitor q is the quality of quality of capacitor quality of the unknown capacitor okay so, dissipation factor is the reciprocal of the quality of the capacitor and we can say Q is equal to in the Maxwell's also we have got the formula Q is equal to 1 by omega R1 C1. Here also you will get 1 by omega R1 C1 means nothing but simply D is equal to omega R1 C1. You will get in the same way. Okay. Now, coming to the bridge unknown parameter Rx and Cx, how to calculate the unknown parameter Rx and Cx simply? when the bridge is in balanced condition. So, when the bridge is in balanced condition, what happens Z1, Z4 equal to Z2, Z3. So, when bridge is balanced, we can write Z1, Z4 is equal to Z2, Z3. See here, what are the components we have in the each and every arm. So, Z1 is equal to a parallel combination of R1, C1. Z is equal to R2, Z3 equal to a simple reactive component C3 and Z4 is nothing but a series combination of unknown components Rx and Cx. Now by seeing the circuit itself, one point you have to remember that I told you already when I was explaining the Maxwell's bridge calculation. When resistance and capacitance are in parallel, it is always better to go for admittance instead of, instead of impedance. Okay, so which component is having, which uh, arm is having this parallel combination? First arm. First arm is having a parallel combination of R1 and C1, resistance and capacitance. 
so first z1 z1 need to be written in terms of admittance in, uh, instead of rather than impedance so take this z1 on the other hand so z4 is equal to z2 z3 into y1 1 by z1 it comes so 1 by z1 is nothing but y1 so what is y1 from the circuit we can write y1 is equal to 1 by r1 plus j omega c1 how we have got this formula already i have explained in that video maxwell's bridge so how we have got z1 is equal to normally pa parallel combination of r1 and c1 so how to write r1 in parallel with 1 by j omega c1 so if you sub uh, uh, what is that if you simplify that parallel connection and return in terms of y1 then you will get this formula same and z2 is simply r2 z3 is equal to 1 by j omega c3 and z4 is equal to it's a series combination of unknown components rx plus 1 by j omega cx okay now substitute in this formula equation 1 substitute in equation 1 so what happens z4 where is z4 R, rx plus 1 by j omega cx is equal to by doing this by taking this notation like this as equation 1 we we have one more advantage that on only the unknown components are on the left hand side all known components are on the right hand side then so z2 z3 what is z2 r2 into z3 is nothing but 1 by j omega c3 into y1 what is y1 1 by r1 plus j omega c1 okay so if you multiply inside you will get the answers for rx and cx so multiply rx plus 1 by j omega cx is equal to uh, what we will get r2 by r1 r2 by r1 into 1 by j omega c3 plus j omega j omega when we multiply here and here when we multiply this one with this one j omega j omega gets cancelled r2 c1 by c3 so it is r2 c1 by c3 so now equate as many parts 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 equate real and imaginary parts so real part on left hand side is rx and real part on this right hand side is r2 c1 by c3 very simple and now coming to the imaginary part 1 by j omega cx is equal to r2 by r1 into 1 by j omega c3 so j omega j omega gets cancelled cx if we take on the right hand side cx is equal to r1 by r2 into c3 this is the unknown capacitance formula and this is the unknown resistance formula in the shearing bridge calculation part now we have taken one more parameter that is dissipation factor dissipation factor so dissipation factor what is the formula omega rx cx omega rx cx omega into what is rx substitute rx and cx values r2 c1 by c3 into what is cx r1 c3 by r2 any cancellations are there this c3 is cancelled c3 is cancelled r2 is cancelled here r2 is cancelled here so simply we are having omega r1 c1 omega r1 and c1 that is the formula for the dissipation factor dissipation factor or pf peak factor anything can be called as this dissipation factor okay in the maxwell's bridge when i was explaining the maxwell's bridge we have calculated the quality factor quality factor what was the formula we have got 1 by omega r1 c1 if you go back we can find this formula okay that means if you say the dissipation factor is equal to 1 by q 
1 by q then also you will get the same 1 by 1 by omega r1 c1 that is equal to simply omega r1 c1 okay so that's why dissipation factor is always said to be the reciprocal to the quality factor reciprocal of the quality of the capacitance unknown component we can say any of the component like the like it is a capacitance or it may be a an inductance okay so dissipation factor is said to be the reciprocal to the quality of the unknown capacitor unknown capacitor and one more point you have to remember the, the shearing bridge can measure 100 picofarad to 1 microfarad with plus or minus 2 percent accuracy okay this is very very important okay so in the next class we will uh, see the problems on this shearing bridge thank you